Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. It's another away day vlog. This time it's Tottenham. So if you watched my video yesterday, you know that Tottenham's ground is the final stadium I need to go to and I've got them all ticked off. So I'm looking forward to hitting that milestone today. Huge opportunity for Newcastle, especially after the international break. Now I had a chance to have a break, a chance to rest up and we can go again. And due to the other teams yesterday, it's still nine points clear for Newcastle. If we can get any result today, it's going to put us in a massive addition. I think we are safe. I've said this time and time again. I know some people are still a bit uncertain. For me, though, I can't see the teams getting those points. I think Newcastle will pick up results elsewhere. But we had to play well, though. Against Evan, it was terrible. I'm not going to lie. Against Evan, it was bad. we got to improve today. we got to give it a bit more. and we got to turn up. Because 500 mile round trip a day, a lot of money's been spent from Newcastle fans. I expect this team to go out there and give it a good go, and I'm sure they will. But anyway, guys, if you are new to the channel, I would highly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Really do appreciate your support as always. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the vlog. There it is, Tottenham's new stadium. The first time, like I said, that I've ever been here. Unbeaten record as well for Newcastle at this ground. It looks gorgeous, really nice looking stadium. Of course, the NFL was here last year. The Dolphins losing to the Jaguars in the second biggest losing streak ever broken. Anthony Joshua's fought in there. There's been all sorts of memorable moments, but no one's going to happen today when Newcastle enter there. And once again, they take the result away from the ground. Heading into the UA entrance now, 90 minutes before kickoff. Always like getting there nice and early and seeing everyone. Big match today, like I said, though. Look how amazing that is. That's class, that like. The future is among us. The team news is out now, so Bruno has been dropped since the Everton game. The broadcast starts again, which was expected. He's recording his tonsillitis. The team itself is a good team, so I think we should go out there and give it a good go. The women's team as well, by the way, missed the pen in their biggest game of the season, so at the minute it looks like they're actually going to cost themselves the title, which is devastating. We've got a focus on the main team today, though, against Tottenham. They get down there. I'm excited for this one. The fans are ready for it. I'm ready for it. Let's get out there and let's give it a good go. Come on, the mics. Alright, guys. Yo, Matty from the Magpie Channel. What's going on, man? Good? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, mate. Good. I spent the late night in London yesterday. Hot boys from my house. Great The other day, Spade Stadium. I love it here. Julian on Zarina. Yeah. 1-0 Newcastle. Let's go. So it's a dumb beaten record going for Seriously, they'll probably take one time. I'm out. No way, I'm out there, man. Picked off, there it is. Oh, 
teams about the tunnel, huge match today. All to play for. Two yards out. It's just, I don't know whose fault was, but the centre half says you've gone between them far too easy for me. And um, the break has got no chance because the defender's headed at Richie probably got a yard out. One one couldn't hold on for five minutes. It's terrible. Time, one, one. There it is, hot time, Tottenham one, Newcastle one. What do I honestly think about that half? I didn't think it was good to be honest. I know Tottenham are a top level side out trying to get Champions League football. The first 30 minutes of the game was just terrible from both sides. There wasn't, wasn't many chances being created. I think Tottenham were probably the stronger of the two sides. Newcastle get a free kick. Fabian shot. The scores are just like showed against Leeds where they keep us palmed in. It was a, somehow it was a VR check for Chris Wood's handball. I couldn't see it. Um, I don't know how it could have been a handball. Then about two minutes later, Tottenham score. Um, really disappointing the way we concede. We shouldn't be conceding that quickly after a goal. Towards the end of the half, I think about three players got booted for a bit of pushing and shoving. But overall, though, not good. Um, it's not bad either. I think a 1 1, I would take it out of the game, to be fair. I'm just disappointed how quickly we concede that goal. It's not on, really. 2 1. Two minutes in the second half, man. What, what, what is that? Oh, no. I mean, that's just a shocker for us, like. A diving header, I don't know who it was, but literally two minutes in the second half and he's scored a no-out-easy goal. Probably is a goal scorer at that time. Both the fullbacks are scoring headers. It's, it's just not good enough for us. Chris Wood now he got an equaliser straight away. It's bad. What did I say? Just... All for defending, switching off both the goals. Someone's got in between the centre half. It's just way it's far too easy for them. This is getting ridiculous now. 54th minute, Tottenham 3 Newcastle 1. What a far system, mate. 
you can blame me, but I mean, what do I see? The defenders are shocking. This, this is a joke. This four-one. It's an absolute force with the pitch here this far. Four-one. What am I even seeing here? Come on, my. Now, well, that's a joke. Now. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. 63rd minute, they scored three goals in this half match. It's, act, it's an absolute farce. You know, well and truly capitulating this game. Tottenham is a rip for a new one. Uh, walking out now, it is Tottenham 5, the Castle 1. <laughs> I am lost for words. What a joke that is. What an absolute farce that is for us today. I mean, fair enough losing the game, but in the manner we did, we went from. One they look to be 4-1 down in the space of 20 minutes on a football pitch. Hey, Castle fans in defiance. But yeah. Thoughts on that, mate? Good choice for you in there, wasn't it? Oh, no. Mr. Fifth? Yeah. Start the walk out there with Mr. Fifth one. Anyway, as I was saying, left the ground, Mr. Fifth goal. No idea who scored it. It's Good. just... <laughs> who? Good. I'm glad we left oh. Mr. Fifth. I can check. Oh, no. <laughs> who gives a shit? I mean, I don't know what to say, to be honest. That was just easily the worst performance I think I've seen this season. I know, obviously, with some of the old ones in the boost, but that, that's our best team we played today. And yeah, we just I mean, got so turned over yeah. at Bergwijn in the yeah, fifth. Went the bench, yeah. it's kind of I, I mean, the defending was just shocking. Uh, there's no other way to put it. The goals were from the fourth scene. I think Orland were at least preventable at some point. The third one was Son. He's touched the ball in the box and he's... A, he has time to properly touch it down and get the second one, which gets him to go. <laughs> I mean, what do I say? It's, it's laughable. It really is laughable. And uh, now nah, we've got three home games coming up and the players' heads are going to be just gone after that. We've got to improve on Friday because, what do I say? That, that was honestly a disgrace. It was shocking today. But yeah, uh, thank you guys.